Hey guys, welcome to the Black Film Guild, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about sliders. Um, you pretty much can use sliders to create these really cool kind of like effects that make a, more of a smooth transition uh, when you're trying to ex accentuate a certain uh, aspect of your filmmaking. Uh, the, the slider that I'm going to talk about specifically today is going to be the Canovo slider. Um, I'm going to talk about this one because I personally own it. Um, I've been using it for a few years now and it's more of a low budget slider. So I, I, got, I think I picked it up about, uh, I want to say a few years ago for probably about a couple hundred dollars, maybe $150. And it's been really great to me. Um, I will say that there is a little, it comes with tools which is cool, um, but there is a little bit of maintenance um, in, how you, in how you need to set it up. So, for example, um, when you go through, when you get the slider, this, it's going to be uh, on bearings, and it has a lot of really cool stuff to, to help you with making sure that everything's smooth. Uh, but when you, it's going to come with some tools, some Allen wrenches and stuff. Uh, there is one tool that you're actually going to have to buy. It's, it looks like a, uh, it looks kind of like pliers, but there's a, there's a, some, there's like this, I don't know what it's called exactly, but there's some, thing that sticks out. I'm going to show a picture of it to you guys uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, but you're going to need that tool in order to tighten and loosen uh, the actual part of the slider that that's going to be sliding. And what you want to do when you when you get that is you want to make it so it's not wobbly but it also still slides very very smoothly. And so going back and forth with this you can uh, you'll end up getting that uh, you'll end up getting that perfect amount uh, you know, slide versus movement in the in the slider when, on the camera. So you can mount the camera on the slider in several different ways. Uh, there's different types of, uh, of ball heads that you can use in order to mount the camera. Or in order to mount the camera uh, and the uh, and the tr and the uh, mount. Let's see the camera and the ball mount onto the onto the uh, slider. There's a there's a, several different ways you can do that. I personally use a, a smaller uh, ball head that that has an articulation so you can make it you know if you want to slide up and down you can do that if you want to slide left and right you can do that you can also use one of your uh, tripod heads like uh, I used for a little while I used my Manfrotto uh, was it 501 H I think it's H HDV I think that's what it is uh, but I use that tripod head on the slider as well for a little bit and what you can do is it kind of makes it easy to just slide get those smooth transitions along there and in this um, in this video I'm gonna I'm gonna probably put in a, a, a short clip of one of the sliding slider um, uh, one of the slider movements that I used and one of the short pieces that I did with uh, the Bay Area Air District in which we were doing an HR video and I used the slider to kind of just show go from one person to showing all three people in the scene so that's pretty much what I wanted to get you guys to know what, what when people are going to use a slider why you're going to use a slider and how you use a slider. So just remember that when you when you set it up, you want to. And the, the sliders are different based on how, you know how much they cost. There's some that are, are automated, but this one's basically for the type of slider that I want that I I use. Uh, it's a lower budget slider if you're if you're just starting, and I think it's a great starter slider. I know for sure you can pick one of these up for less than $150, um, especially if you go use and get even cheaper. Um, but pretty much what you're going to do with it, you know, you're going to tighten and loosen it to where you think that there's no movement, uh, you know, as far as left to right uh, with the camera movement, and it just slides smoothly. So that's what you really want to look for. So if you have any questions about the Canova slider, I'd be more than happy to answer those. It's one that I have some experience with, so I, I can probably uh, answer more questions about it. Uh, please leave a comment uh, below. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again here soon.